Hi, I am Becca Roo, and you are watching Roo's Musings. This week I've been thinking about worrying. Do you guys ever feel like you excessively worry about things? Just all the time, worrying, 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 worrying. I feel like that a little bit. I think I told you last week my puppy got sick, and then we weren't totally sure why he got sick. So my mind came up with a trazillion things, a shmush million things about what could be making him sick and he had a rash and I'm like, well I have to keep him away from all possible causes of this rash and which is just everything and he's a puppy. So I got to watch some of my response to worrying and I've been thinking about worrying. And one of the things I'm thinking about is that it doesn't serve us. When does worrying serve us? And I talked about this in class and someone said that sometimes worrying causes you to take action sometimes. And I, I agree with that. So a little bit of worrying might cause us to take action which might be beneficial to us. But I'm not doing a little bit of worrying. And when I was talking about this in class um, and Sally behind the camera, the nodding, we're not, we're not doing a little bit of worrying. We're doing excessive amounts of worrying. And um, we don't have control. So I think the worrying comes from a couple of things. One is our desire to control everything around us, which is impossible. We just cannot do that. Another thing I think it comes from is trying to fix, like trying just to fix things, fix ourselves, fix situations. We're fixers, um, which we can, we can do a little bit, but not really. And then another interesting thing that I, I like to watch and I want to encourage you guys to start paying attention to is our desire as well as the people who are talking to's desire, deep desire to in any given situation be right. Like when we're having, you're having a conversation with somebody and they interject their opinion over your opinion so that they, they know that you know that they're correct. Our deep desire to be right. Watch how much worry comes from you wanting the world to know, you wanting yourself to know, you wanting your community to know that you're correct. It's so interesting to me. So I'm trying to let go of that. I'm trying to just say, okay, I only have control over what I have control over, which is almost always internal, not external. The, the, I have a little bit of control over the puppy, but not not a lot. And if something is, something is going to happen, right? This is what I've been thinking about. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen and things will happen regardless of how much we worry or don't worry or how much control we think we have or we don't have. So I just have been watching myself over worry and I think that this is something that we all um, share. Worrying to me comes from our head unless we're getting chased by a bear. So if we're getting chased by a bear, we have that physical response and it, your brain gets bypassed, right? Bear chasing you, you run. Or I guess you turn and shoot the bear if you have a gun or something. I've never been chased by a bear. I don't know. But for the most part, I feel like worrying comes from our head and then is affected through our body, right? So if you think all of a sudden that, you know, one of your best friends is sick or your body has a response to our worrying, but it doesn't come from our bodies. And actually, one of um, the ways that we can get out of our worrying, and we all know this, I think, but I just wanted to offer it as well, is to get into our bodies, to go for a walk or to go for a hike or to go for a run or a bike ride or to go to a yoga class or to sit down and practice yoga, that we can get out of the worry in our head by getting into our bodies. So step one for me is to try to go with the flow a little bit more, which is a challenge, but I'm really trying just to let things be what they are. That's a constant, I need that constant reminder. Number one, go with the flow, let things be as they are. Let yourself be as you are. And number two, when we can't get out of the worry cycle, instead of reaching for the vices that we like to reach for, like food or drugs or alcohol or shopping, all the things that you know make us crazier long term, but maybe short term make the worry go away, to instead just get, get physical. Get, let's get physical, physical. What do you think? I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.